Businesses have all types of incentives and sales to lure customers to their stores. Turns out the same goes for drug dealers. Fox 5's Morse Diggs has the details. Now in my story, I want to draw your attention to this price board. Among the items, Oreos, truffles, milk for cereal. No, not grocery products, but drugs. You are looking at body cam footage. As Atlanta officers broke through a barricaded door, the occupant fled to the balcony of his Buckhead apartment, but police were also on the ground. They saw him and told him to go back inside. Their target, Eric Patterson, collected cleanly. When the investigators went in to process the scene, uh, they saw a menu board. Here is where this drug bus story gets real interesting. Investigators found a price board for various items inside. Oreos and cereal milk and grapes. None of it food for the stomach, but product for patrons feeding a revolving high. He had some grocery style discount incentives, did he not? Yes, he sure did. Uh, so the illegal drug market is not unlike any other uh, product market that's out there. And, and just like a lot of other products, you will get discounted rates if you buy it in bulk. And days of the week discounts as well. It took hours for officers to catalog all this, mostly marijuana and some pills. Estimated value of the store inventory, at least $80,000. Mr. Patterson, who was familiar to APD, eventually would be taken to jail on five charges, including trafficking and weapons charges. People will talk about narcotics use being the quote unquote victimless crime. Um, and we don't believe that's the case at all. The activity that surrounds it, whether it's violence related, these things disrupt people's lives in our neighborhoods. In 2022 alone, we've recovered 191 firearms. 88 were from convicted felons. Another interesting element from this one case, the suspect turns out Atlanta investigators say they busted him a year ago down in Southwest Atlanta. And yes, there in his store, he had the price board. From Northeast Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. Well, time now.